Hey everyone, you're from Tunnel Vision TV and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to stabilize your footage using DaVinci Resolve. So let's say you don't have access to something like Premiere Pro or After Effects and you want to stabilize your shaky footage, you can do it right inside of DaVinci Resolve. Uh, you can obviously download the free version and it's pretty simple to, uh, to stabilize your footage. Once you've got your clip inside of DaVinci, you're going to go to the Tracker tab, uh, just click on the Tracker. And then where it says window, just make sure this is set to stabilizer and that's going to give you the stabilizer controls. And then right at the top, you'll see pan, tilt, zoom and rotate. And these will all be ticked. And uh, let's just quickly look at my footage. So it's a very simple handheld shot. You can see it's a bit shaky. Um, just kind of panning around, moving the camera around. Um, and you can see there's no zooming going on in the shot. So what you can do is you can untick the zoom here because obviously we don't have any zooming in the shot so you just untick that and that will give you a little bit of a better result okay so make sure you're on your first frame and then you're just going to click on this button here to uh, track forward and you'll see that it will uh, just kind of create all these trackers in your shot and it will go through the shot and track um, that shot for you so let's just give it a second okay so once the tracking is done you can start to configure your uh, stabilizer here at the bottom so you'll see here at the bottom you've got two numbers, you've got strong and then smooth. Strong is basically the amount of uh, stabilization that you want to apply. So if you set this to something crazy like 100 and you click on stabilize, um, you'll see that if you play this back, the shot won't even move, but you might get some weird um, kind of shifting, kind of warping um, artifacts. So that's not always a good thing. So I'm just going to stop that, go back to the first frame. And uh, let me just set this down to something like, let's say 50. And um, then the zoom tick here, if I untick this and I click on stabilize again, um, it's gonna give me 50% strength, but then you can see the, you get these black bars around the side of the video because it's not zooming in, it's kind of just moving it around. So that's not always a good thing. So to eliminate these black borders around your video, just click on zoom here at the bottom next to the stabilize button and just click on stabilize again and you'll see it will zoom in slightly just to get rid of those black bars. So if I play through this again, you'll see it's a bit smoother and you don't have any of the black bars around the video. Cool, so the next number where it says smooth, that is the amount of camera motion that you actually wanna bring back into the video. So if you set this number too high, let's say at around 60%, um, that's the amount of stabilization and you wanna bring a little bit of camera smooth motion into the shot again. Let's say we set this to about 40 and then just click on stabilize again and you'll see it's gonna zoom out because it's gonna introduce some of that movement again. And if you play back, you'll see we've got some camera movement, but it's not as shaky as the original shot. It's nice and smooth. It's kind of moving around. And you also don't get that uh, warping effect if you set your uh, strong too high. So that's a pretty good number. I usually try and balance it out between the strong and the smooth. And there you basically have your shot that's stabilized. Really simple stuff using DaVinci Resolve. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of new weekly tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye.